What's going on? BattleRap.com. I'm out here at World Domination 5. It's Roan. I'm here with the dude that's kind of taking my fucking job right now. I just caught him interviewing people. Kid Twist. What's good, bro? Shit. Yeah, what's up, man? Kid Twist. BattleRap.com. Let's go. But let's talk about how we fucking battled right, each right. other, man. That was a fucking, a real fun battle, man. A crazy battle. Yeah. Everybody, I think, is saying that that is their favorite battle of the event yeah, so yeah, far. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that's that's what I've heard as well. A lot of good feedback on it. Um, after something really interesting that's new to me in battle rap is like the Twitter reaction that kind of like came in while I was on hiatus. So now that I can log on and see like the instant feedback, it's so crazy. It's like Kid Twist 3-0, Roan 3-0, Kid Twist 2-1, Roan 2-1. Roan, it's like tie, and then everything's covered. Yeah, make up your fucking minds, people. Who won? Who won? Who won? The Which battle? of us won? We need validation. This is why we scream insults at each other, because we need validation. We crave it so badly. It's terrible. Just, just tell us who won. That's all we want to know. You got to tell me how you got fucking Norm Kelly to come out here today, because that's a ridiculous... I don't know how that happened. I had a fucking... Right. I had a bar about Norm Kelly, yeah, and there he's fucking standing there. <laughs> you did have a bar. Uh, so I literally just thought of the idea, thought that would be crazy, uh, went to the City of Toronto website, found his public email, sent him an email. Um, it was actually two days before OVO Fest, and they said, oh, What sorry. did the email say? What did you say? I, was, I wrote this, like, extremely professional email, like, putting all my actual 9 to 5 job skills to use. Um, and, yeah, the, his assistant emailed me back, like, sorry, he's out of town right now. Um, and then I just kept, I just kept like, you know, pushing more emails, and eventually, like, his assistant started getting back to me. I talked to his assistant on the phone a couple times. You emailed times. him a bunch, of times? a bunch of times? So you had yeah. to have Norm Kelly here? I had to I had to have it. I had to have it. I was like, yo, you know what's going to happen? First round is going to be super close. Second round, uh, some people say I take it. Some people say you took it. Third round, I have to bring out Norm Kelly or I'm going to lose the battle because it's going to be tied up. It, and it was. Yeah. It was just like that. It was such a huge <laughs> momentum fucking, a huge momentum shift. So did you did you talk to him like personally? What was I like think, your conversation like? You know what's crazy is there's actually like, because uh, uh, shout out to Nameless. Nameless helped me out a lot with this, with like facilitating things. There's like this secret green room upstairs where we were like keeping him so no one knew that he was here. But me and Nameless were just like sitting in this room having like the fucking deepest, most philosophical life conversations with Counselor Norm Kelly. It was crazy. We talked about literature. We talked about like the development of hip hop and African American music styles. We A couple white guys. Everything. Everything. We talked about China. We talked about uh, the history of communist China and simplified Chinese script and how that has set the stage for North American culture. Important culture. stuff. Yeah, so, what, did, uh, what did you tell him he was going to expect at, like, a battle rap event? Like, what do you say to the guy? Um, we, we tried to, like, you know, we wanted we wanted to really play up, like, the positive aspects. Like, there are people from all across the world. It's creating, like, uh, you know, a really good name for Toronto. We tried to downplay the, like, uh, uh, it's super homophobic and, like, it's a It's not as homophobic. <laughs> it's not as homophobic as it used to be. As it, as it used to be, yeah. As it we love the gays. We were just talking about sucking dick. Yeah, that's right. So, uh... Did, but do you think that he thought that he was about to get called a bitch, though? <laughs> Do you think he was ready for that? <laughs> I do not. I do not think he was ready for that. He wasn't ready. <laughs> BattleRap.com is Ronan Kitchwist. We're out here in Toronto. World Domination 5.